judge Peter as a person or as a Christian, but he saw a situation that needed to be addressed. Now also on the other side of that story too is the fact that Peter was a good Christian too and he realized, remember we talked about taking the plank out of your eye before you take the speck out of your brother's eye. He knew that Paul meant well. And he knew that Paul had his act together. And he listened to him and said, you know, I think Paul might have something going on here. Maybe I need to. Because we do know that Peter was a very strong personality. He was out there. And sometimes he had to back up a little bit. So that I think that story that you point out, Curtis, is a very good example of two Christians working that out in the Lord's work. And it's a good example you bring up because that's what we need to do. We need to be knowledgeable of the word. We need to be prayerful. We need to listen. And let me roll this back. This goes back to what Alan talked about earlier. Do all those things, and to be successful at them, we have to have peace with the Lord and peace in the Lord. We accept those things, and then that makes the, the chores ahead of us a little easier. Because A, we've been saved. We've been saved from our sins, we've been saved from the guilt that's behind us. See, God works a lot differently than the world does. And when we come to the Lord and we give ourselves over, he cleans the slate. He erases every mark up, up there. All right, your life starts now, Carl. Move on. Let's see how you do. So you can forget all that. You can forget those sins. You can forget the guilt. You can forget all that. You move on. 